Supply and Demand Supply and demand describes goods availability and a consumer's desire. It's the relationship between a producer's supply and a consumer's demand, which generates profit. GDP GDP, or gross domestic product, is all the value created by goods and services produced within a country in a specific time period. We calculate GDP by adding consumption, which reflects a consumer's spending, with investments, represented by business investments, and net exports, which is the trade balance, and we add net exports with investments, with consumption, with government spending, and we get GDP. Inflation. Inflation is the rate of general price level rise. Unemployment rate. Unemployment rate describes the percentage of the workforce that is unemployed but actively seeking work. Interest rate. The cost of borrowing money or the return on investment expressed as a percentage. If you borrow $5,000 with 5% annual interest, you pay $250 in interest each year. The rest goes to your principal. Principal. Principal is the initial invested or borrowed amount. In other words, the money you agreed to pay back. Monetary policy. Monetary policy describes the actions taken by a central bank to manage the money supply and interest rates. For example, an increased inflation rate will lead to an increased interest rate, and the power that the banks exert is known as monetary policy. Fiscal policy describes government decisions on taxation and government spending to influence the economy. It's similar to monetary policy, except it's the government that's able to control the economy in this case. Budget deficit occurs when a government's expenditures exceed its revenue in a fiscal year. Fiscal, relating to taxation, public revenues, or public debt. Basically, when government's spending is greater than its earnings. National debt. National debt is the total amount of money that a government owes to external creditors and internal lenders. CPI, or Consumer Price Index measures the average change in prices paid by consumers for goods and services over time. A rising CPI suggests increasing prices, while a declining CPI indicates deflation. CPI is equal to the current year market basket value divided by the base year market basket value times 100. Market basket represents a selection of goods and services used to track price changes over time. Exchange rate, the value of one currency in terms of another, affecting international trade and investment. Foreign direct investment, foreign direct investment is just another word for international investments. It's an investment in business interests located in another country. Elasticity, elasticity is a measure of how responsive the quantity demanded or supplied of a good is to the change in a price. In other words, it's how well the supply and demand are able to correlate with each other. Market structure. Market structure describes the characteristics and competitiveness of a market. The characteristics include pricing, competition, and market outcomes. There are four different types, which include perfect competition, monopolistic competition, oligopoly, and monopoly. Perfect competition has more buyers slash sellers, the same products, no entry or exit barriers, and no market power. Monopolistic competition has many firms, unique products, a low entry slash exit barrier, and each firm will have some market power. In an oligopoly, there are few dominating firms, interdependence, entry barriers, and a high market power. In a monopoly, there's one firm, a single product, a high entry barrier, and complete power. Opportunity cost. Opportunity cost is the value of the next best alternative for gone to undertake a particular action. So if you were to have the option of $0 and $100, if you chose the $0, then you'd actually be losing $100, including the cost of the missed opportunity. Comparative advantage. Comparative advantage is the ability of a country to produce a good or service at a lower opportunity cost than another. In other words, being more cost effective. If country A was able to produce cheese at a faster rate, then country A would have the comparative advantage. 
Liquidity. Liquidity is the ease with which an asset can be converted into cash without affecting its marketplace. Human capital. Human capital. The skills, knowledge, and experience possessed by an individual or workforce. Human capital is considered an asset in economic terms.